Take a uh, little walkthrough of this beautiful installation of drawings by Alex Katz. And uh, I spoke with the receptionist and I asked her if Alex had uh, designed this installation, you know, with the uh, white floors and the minty green walls. And she said that, yeah, he'd actually picked out the color and uh, was very specific about designing this. So this is all kind of like an, an installation. Gosh, and look who else has showed up. Good, good. Jerry and Roberta. This painting is going good. That's all we want. A big, huge one of one neighborhood. Museum, buy the fucking thing. I'm working on a big Soho right now. Just do it, museums. Buy Thank the you. Soho one. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was nice. Uh, we're going to take a little look at these drawings. This is titled Isaac. All of these are... Uh, in the last couple of years in their charcoal on paper. And it says in the press release a lot of these are portraits of his friends and family. This is Nicole, 20 by 15. And uh, while well, I was just briefly chatting with Roberta and uh, she said she was surprised to see Alex smudging. <laughs> but, uh, I said that I'd seen a drawing show, I guess at this point it's maybe four or five years ago, where he was also, uh, this is Ada, where he's also uh, kind of grinding in the charcoal and getting those gradations. Uh, this is Tarisia. I think these are all basically half sheets, so it's about, uh, 15 by 22, 23 inches. This is Ada. Well, I think in certain ways, the drawings, you get a little more uh, spontaneous approach to things, and he's uh, kind of playing a little more with uh, his compositional things. This is Vivian, 2014, 22 by 15 and a half. And, uh, well, I like this. We got a little detail with the uh, ear and the lips there. Uh, Starisa. And again, I kind of like this, uh, you get this horizontal band and He's positioning the subject above this, kind of cropping the top of the head. And uh, I, I like the shadows. It's titled Emma 5. And I was telling Roberta that I think uh, Alex is intentionally using uh, the heavily textured watercolor paper, I think. And uh, that allows him to get this uh, gradation, kind of the uh, scumbled feel. And I like this uh, double portrait and this line that cuts off one edge. 
also you've got uh, one head's got the shadow on the right side. This one doesn't have much of a shadow. Vivian. This is sunrise. And uh, well, just from an abstract point of view, I kind of like the, uh, the shape of the masked out hair played against the uh, polka dots in the shirt. I think one of the things that people kind of like about Alex's work is that uh, he hasn't totally uh, eschewed or gotten away from a certain kind of fashion sensibility. This is Nicole. And uh, yeah, again, the uh, kind of the shape of this uh, windbreaker is nice, just from an abstract point of view. Chochin. I think this one might be my favorite. You know, you can see where he spent a little more time uh, grinding in the charcoal. And I like the way there's this one little lock of hair that's kind of separated out from the bangs. Well, this is a uh, series of six studies of Vivian. It's around 2015. And, uh, well, you can see here the very fine line drawing kind of contrasted against Desiree's where he's uh, really taking a lot of time to adjust things and uh, build up the chiaroscuro. Also, uh, kind of thinking how many different poses can a uh, standing figure have? And, uh, well, a lot. See the way he's adjusted the scale on this? Erased the large hat, shrunk it down a little bit. I think the sloping shoulder's nice. Uh, last week when I was at Freeze, I uh captured a series of small paintings by Alex of uh, women standing in a, on a yellow ochre ground. Maybe I'll splice those in and you can contrast those against these drawings. This has been James Calm, and we've been looking at Alex Katz's drawings. Here, Gavin Brown Enterprise. 291 Grand Street on the Lower East Side. Okay, well, we're going on on our Sunday cruise here, and now we're at the Stephen Harvey Fine Art Project. 208 Forsyth Street. Cue the buzzer. <laughs> well, I thought this was a very uh, nice show. It's titled Colors and the Kids. And, uh, well, this is a two artist show featuring a husband and wife duo. And, uh, well, we'll start out looking at the work of Gideon Bach. Well, 
This is titled Black Star. Now, uh, I've seen uh, Gideon's work here, here at Steve Harvey's before, and uh, well, he did a whole series of album covers. I know, I think they were the same size as the album covers, and then uh, he painted them in. One of the things I like about uh, Gideon's work is he's got a nice uh, physical feel for the paint, and uh, well, he's one of the more interesting figurative painters, I think, around these days. Uh, in one way, his figures almost remind me of uh, kind of like time-lapse photographs. It's like the figures almost, parts of them disappear, reappear. As if he's coming in and working on these for a while. Maybe the people are sitting around and then they're gone and, and they just sort of remain as ghostly effigies. Uh, I think the other thing that's interesting is if you look at the uh, contents of the the interiors, there's a lot of references to music and record collecting and rock and roll. Uh, we'll get up and look closely. One of the things I always love is uh, when a painter can use a lot of various types of applications. So here we've got, looks like he starts out with a very kind of drippy, washy drawing. And then he slowly starts to build this up with thicker brushed on layers. And uh, finally he starts to uh, layer on the thicker highlights and uh, chunkier forms and then he, he scumbles in areas and he builds up some highlights and chunks with the uh, palette knife. There's one of his ghostly forms. This is titled Black Star 1. This is well on canvas 45 by 38 inches. Now we'll look at uh, some pieces by Megan Brady. It's titled CU2 2016 Oil and Acrylic on Linen. So Gideon and Megan are married, and uh, I didn't know that. I walked in and just said, gee, this is kind of an interesting pairing because in certain ways uh, you couldn't get farther apart. You've got Megan doing these very coloristically abstract brushy forms. And then you've got uh, Gideon doing these very, and parts of them are very tightly, minutely detailed realism. I think that looks like a BMW to me. As still lives are wonderful. More Megan, hands up green. Well, Megan's got a nice uh, color sense, but uh, this is all very flat. Although I mentioned that uh, one of the things that uh, they have in common is that they're both using a very you know, physical approach to the to the paint. There's a lot of layering and uh, scraping. But uh, well, Megan likes to keep her surfaces pretty flat. This is 56 by 46 inches. Oil and acrylic on linen. titled Two-Step Acrylic and Oil on Linen, 56 by 46. And uh, 
I like this one because it's kind of got some uh, almost letter forms in there. Get up and look at the surface. This is kind of like an F. You see a lot of scraping. And uh, well, I'm noticing more and more that a lot of artists are using fluorescent colors. And uh, Megan's got some some layers of fluorescent peeking out there. So we've got an, like a reverse J forms. Let's look in the back room. Well, here, here's a selection of uh, Gideon's album covers. And this is Velvet Underground. We got our David Bowie, Lodger, 2011. And these are on MDF panels, 12 and 5 sixteenths by 12 and 5 sixteenths. Well, we'll run back and get the picture of one more. So this is actually a portrait or figure study titled Megan Brady as young Grace Hardigan. Okay, Grace Hardigan was a wonderful, I guess I would consider her part of the action painters. So it's maybe the second generation abstract expressionists. This piece is 23 by 22 inches. And uh, I like this little cup there on the floor. Anyway, <laughs> sorry to disturb you ladies. That was a quick rough cut run through of coloring the kids. two-person show featuring Gideon Bach and Megan Brady here at Stephen Harvey Fine Arts Project on the Lower East Side. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Yes. What's your name? My name is Little Walker. You can find me. Little Walker. Yes, from the Light Beats. Okay. Light Beats. Thank you. You can find me at facebook.com slash uh, lightbeats. L-I-T-E-B-E-A-T-Z. Lightbeats. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you.